This is an introductory video of a series, details of which can be found on the website. The development of atomic theory and the ideas about fundamental particles remind us that nothing in science is absolutely certain. Early Greek and Indian philosophers first proposed that if a particle of material was magnified, we'd eventually come to a point where there were small bits that were indivisible, that is, fundamental. The word atom comes from the Greek atomos, which means uncuttable. The ideas were reinforced by early 17th and 18th century chemists, who realised that some substances could not be broken down further by chemical means. The existence of crystals with their regular structures could also be explained by atoms shaped like marbles. The image of the single indivisible particle changed a little by the end of the 19th century with the discovery by J.J. Thompson of the electron, which we still consider to be a fundamental indivisible particle, part of the group of particles called leptons. In light of this discovery, the theory was slightly adapted. The image of the atom was of a ball of positively charged material embedded with little negative charges. This model was likened to currents in a cake and was called the plum pudding theory. Early in the 1900s, the New Zealand physicist Ernest Rutherford set out to test this theory by firing alpha particles into a thin gold leaf. His interpretation of the unexpected results from this gold leaf experiment, explained in another video, led to a radical rethink of atomic structure. He showed that most of an atom was empty space, that its mass and matter was concentrated in a very small spot in the centre. Surrounding this positively charged nucleus were negatively charged electrons. He and other associates went on to show that the nucleus was not a fundamental particle, and that it consisted of positively charged protons and neutral neutrons. These were the new, absolutely fundamental particles. This new status did not last for long. In 1964, the existence of subparticles called quarks was proposed, and a few years later first observed, a total of six having been detected in particle accelerators. We think that only two of these types or flavours of quark are stable, and that they comprise all normal matter. These are up and down quarks. A proton consisting of one down and two up quarks, and a neutron two down and one up quark. Investment in research continues apace. It will be interesting to see if these theories continue to develop, or if they're completely overturned. Notes to support this video and details of other videos in the series can be found on the website. Thank you for watching.